Hi friends, welcome to my channel. In today's class, we will do the asymmetric view that is three dimensional diagram of a given paper weight. Paper weight means we are keeping some weight on the papers. So this paper weight is, it is looking like this, given diagram is like this. Okay, it is a two dimensional diagram or we can call it as front view of the given diagram. Okay, now here for this, we have to do the asymmetric view. Initially, take the given question. After that, we will do this diagram by using the drawing instruments. Okay, after this, we have to do the asymmetric diagram. Initially, take the given question. The given diagram has shown the front view of a paper weight. Okay, this one. Consisting of the frustum of a cone. So, frustum of a cone means this part is called frustum of a cone. Okay, so if you are removing, this is a cone. Okay, it has circular base. If you are removing some height of the cone, the remaining part. Here it is a smaller diameter, okay, circular one, and here it is a bigger one. This one, this is the frustum of a cone mounted by a cut spear. So, here we need to keep one spear on the frustum of a cone. Cut spear means the spear should come like this inside this frustum, okay. Wherever this 40 is coming, means we have to take the spear up to this 40, draw its isometric view. For doing the asymmetric view, initially take this diagram, given diagram. Here dimensions are also given. We have to do initially this diagram. Okay. Initially, we will do this diagram. Okay. Sphere. Because this distance has not given. They have given it is x. x means we need to find the value of it. It is not complete radius. Sphere radius has given. SR 30 means sphere radius is 30 mm. But this is less than that. We need to find this value. Okay. Initially, we will do the complete sphere. After that, we will take this 40, wherever 40, we will move the scale inside this, wherever this 40 is coming, we will cut this spear. So he has given cut spear, means we have to take the spear up to this 40. It is also diameter, diameter means it is a circular one. Inside this, we are keeping the spear. Always remember cut spear they have given, so the spear should come like this. Okay, initially we will do this, take any point as a center, this is the front view they have given, for front views we are marking small letters, A dash, B dash, C dash like that. Now take the center O dash, given center, do the sphere, how much radius 30 mm, that is 3 centimeter. Let us do here, take here O dash as a center, take 3 centimeter radius by using compass, O dash as center, do one sphere or one circuit. Sphere is looking like circuit. Like this. Now after getting the circle, here we need to take 40 mm. For getting it, just do the horizontal diameter, vertical diameter. It is a vertical axis, this one. Okay. About this axis, this diagram is symmetrical. Correct. Let us do this vertical axis and horizontal axis. Access means two big lines with a dot. Let's do the horizontal axis. After getting this axis, so here we have to take 40 inside the circle. So here this side from the axis 20, this side 20. I will take total 40. So how to take here? By using roll scale or drafter scale also you can fix the drafter scale here. Now we need to take this side 20, this side 20. Okay. So I am taking 2 cm this side, 2 cm this side. I will move the scale in downward direction. Wherever these points are coming touching the circle, I am taking those points. I will do the line here. It is called chord of the circle. Okay. This one. Now this part I will remove. According to the given question, now here this is the line we did now. Now after that, so at uh, 30 mm, 3 centimeter from this point, we will take one horizontal line. How much it is? Diameter has given 80. So from axis this side 40, this side 40. Initially take this length, 30 mm on the axis. So from this point, take 30 mm here. 
okay so here we need to take 80 mm take this is a reference line move the scale up to this point okay now this side 40 mm this side 40 mm total 8 so already i took 4 centimeter here so at 8 i will take one end point and this side initial point okay just do one line here now after getting that line after getting this line join this point to this point this point to this point now this is the given diagram in it here we need to mark the all given dimension as it is here this value has not given x value we need to find by using this diagram okay let us find this value how much it is distance between this one and this one so it is exactly 2 centimeter that is 20 mm just mark this value i have marked all given dimensions and after that we did this value by using the scale so it is 20 and here they have marked o dash already we did here and here they have, they have taken this center okay b dash here they have taken this center is a dash a dash b dash we need to mark so this is a dash this is b dash now this is a given diagram we need to do the isometric view now for doing it whenever sphere problem has given sphere has given we have to take sphere dimension as it is which is the sphere dimension radius of the sphere sr 30 has given why means if you are taking the sphere in any direction in isometric view the dimensions are not changing okay so here the given dimension radius or diameter is not changing keep as it is and what about other dimension this 20 40 80 30 all these are linear dimensions okay or circular dimensions these dimensions are changing because example if i am taking like this the given block whatever this size will be there in the front view it is looking exact size if you are keeping in three dimensional way three dimensional means we will see all three axes x axis y axis and z axis okay this is a three dimensional position so whenever we are tilting this block like this in three dimensional way whatever this length will be there in this direction it is getting it is looking like reduced one okay this one also it is getting reduced one whenever this line is tilting like this okay so the it is looking like reduced length so all the dimensions will getting reduced okay except sphere so how much all dimensions will reduced means we have one value in isometric views we need to multiply all these values with 0.816 mm remember that value multiply this value 20 into 0.816 so multiply all these values with this value in engineering drawing always remember this value it is 0.816 mm this value whatever value is getting it is less than this 20 okay so initially we will write all the values into this value here 40 into outside the diagram i will do 40 into 0 0.816 and here 80 80 into 0 0.816 here it is 30 into so here i will do 0 0.816 Okay, calculate all these values by using the calci 16.32 mm we have to do in centimeter because we are doing the drawing in centimeter so we can take 1.63 centimeter or 1.6 centimeters okay so it is equal to this value approximate value now next value 40 into 0. 816 this value is 32.64 mm tell in centimeter 3.26 or 3.3 centimeters do this value 80 into 0. 0.816 how much it is 65.28 mm How many centimeters? 6.52 centimeters. So, or we can take 6.5 centimeters. Now next this value 30 into 
जीरो पॉइंट एट वन सिक्स ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट फोर एट ट्वेंटी फोर पॉइंट फोर एट एम एम और वी कैन टेक टू पॉइंट फोर सेंटीमीटर सो लाइक दैट वी हैव टू टेक द न्यू वैल्यूज फॉर अदर डायमेंशंस ओके एक्सेप्ट दिस स्पीयर रेडियस वी हैव टू टेक दिस वैल्यू एज इट इज ओके लेटेस्ट टू द आइसोमेट्रिक डायग्राम इन आइसोमेट्रिक डायग्राम यू हैव टू टेक दिस रेडियोस वैल्यूज ओके नाउ लेटेस्ट डू हियर यू सम गैप सो दैट द एंटायर डायग्राम शुड कम यू कॉन्ट स्टार्ट हियर सो इट इज कमिंग आउट ऑफ द पेज ओके नाउ हियर इनिशियली आई विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम हियर सो दिस इज डायमीटर एटी गिवेन डायमीटर मीन्स द बॉटम सर्फेस ऑफ द फ्रेशम ऑफ ए कोन वॉट इज द बॉटम सर्फेस इट इज सर्क्युलर वन ओके दिस सर्किल इज इन द आइसोमेट्रिक व्यू इट इज लुकिंग लाइक ए लिप्स ओके सो फॉर दट इनिशियली वी हैव टू टेक दिस सर्किल जस्ट आई विल डू रफली हियर यू डू ऑल दिस रफ वर्क इन द सपरेट पेपर नो नीड टू डू इन द शीट जस्ट फॉर एक्सप्लेनिंग इट आई एम टेकिंग द रफ डायग्राम हियर बै यूजिंग इट आई विल डू द आइसोमेट्रिक व्यू सो एटी सो हियर दिस डायमीटर इज एटी दिस डायमीटर इज एटी दिस बॉटम सर्फेस इज सर्कुलर वन लाइक दिस so this horizontal diameter is 80 let us take this is a center this diameter is 80 okay what is the center here a dash so i am taking a here now here for doing isometric view whatever diagram will be there you have to keep in the box initially this box should pass through all these four points okay now i will do one line here by using scale i will do here one line so here i will do one line which is passing through this point here also i will do one line no need to do this diagram by using the drawing instrument just for explaining it i am doing okay now how much this length whatever this diameter 80 okay this is 80 mm 80 means how much we have to take new value 6.5 cm and then what is this this is also diameter 80 mm so for 80 mm we have calculated this value 6.5 so this side also 6.5 this side also 6.5 it is nothing but a square all four sides has equal length so mark the end points for the square okay now i am giving p q r s okay initially we have to take this square in the asymmetric view for doing the asymmetric view initially take p point okay here i am taking p point capital letters i am using for asymmetric view so at p just do here i will do roughly this is the p point at this p point we have to do horizontal line we have to take 30 degrees lines like this okay now i am taking p point i will do this horizontal line here so take this is the reference line use the drafter scale it is easy to do the lines parallel lines horizontal lines here do the line now here take 30 degrees this side 30 degrees this side at this point by using this protractor now this side 30 degrees this side 30 degrees these two points we got join these two points to p just do the thin lines in that direction now this side also do the line so at one side take this length 6.5 cm this side and mark the q point 6.5 we are marking this side so this is 6.5 okay here which is this point q point now here also take 6.5 now pq we have marked this side this side is ps okay this point is s point now after that at s do sr line this sr line is parallel to pq here i will do sr line parallel to pq for getting parallel line take this is the reference line move the scale up to s do the line here of some length okay at q also do this qr line parallel to ps so do qr line parallel to ps for getting parallel line take this is the reference move the scale at q do the line okay this square is looking like rhombus in the asymmetric group this intersection point is r point q 
okay mark this is r now in it we need to take this circle circle is looking like ellipse in the asymmetric view for doing the circle we are following the four center method in four center method just roughly i will do whatever this part is there you have to do in the rough paper the main diagram should do in the drawing sheet so i am using four center method okay in four center method for, for this rhombus whatever smaller diagonal length will be there diagonal means joining opposite ends if you are joining these two we will get one diagonal if you are joining these two we will get another diagonal okay whatever smaller diagonal length this is a smaller diagonal compared to this one so take these two ends are the two centers p is one center and then r is another center we are using four centers in four centers we got two centers remaining two centers we will get here so how to get the uh, how to get the remaining two centers here means here we have one processor just mark the middle points okay at all four sides so middle point means this length is 6.5 divided by 2 okay 6.5 by 2 means it is 3.25 centimeters okay let us take 3.2 centimeter each side of this rhombus so it is 3.25 now this side also mark Three point two five. Okay, so this line and this line should has equal length. Just take middle point here, parallel to this line. Take the scale here, move the scale up to this middle point, and mark middle point here. Similarly, on this also mark the middle point here. Already we did middle point. So at this point, do the line parallel to this. So here it is coming. Okay, so this is the middle point. After getting the middle points, just give the names. So here I will start here x, y, z, or some here t. I am taking any alphabet we can take. Okay, after getting the middle points, here take these two points initially. Okay, take initially p point. Join this p point to opposite middle points. Y and z are the opposite middle points to this p. Okay, join these two points to p. do with thin lines our main aim is we need to do the main diagram outer line should be in dark color okay we have joined these two so after p take r take r join opposite middle points p and x are the opposite middle points join this okay remember this processor whenever four center method is coming like this Okay, here we got intersection points. Okay, these lines and these lines intersection points. You any name for it? I am giving M and N. Okay, small letters M and N. Okay, so these two are the remaining two centers, P R and then M N. Okay, after getting all four centers, with these four centers we will do the arcs. Here one arc, here one arc, here one arc, here one arc. Okay, this circle is looking like ellipse at the time. Okay, for doing the arcs, we we have to find the radius also. Okay, for any arc, we have to take some radius. If P is the center, what is the radius? P Z or P Y is the radius. Both are same values. Okay, take P Y is the radius. Roughly, I am writing here. Take P is the center, P Y is the radius. P is the center, P Y is the radius. Join these two points like this. Getting this arc, take the next center, R center. take rt or rx radius this radius or this radius i will write here rx radius okay by using compass r center rx radius okay, rx radius join x and t like this like this okay after getting the two arcs take the next center m center take radius mt or mz radius both are same values okay here I, i will write mt radius by using compass m center mt radius join these two points okay next after getting this arc take next center n center ny and nx both have same length 
okay by using compass join these two points like this so we got this circular part as ellipse in isometric view so find this center a dash is the center we need to mark center of this circular one so we need to take capital letter c so how to find center join opposite ends of the diagonals join sq just two thin lines for getting the center like this and here join these two points so the intersection point is center of it what is the name a dash small letter here in isometric view we are giving the capital letter okay capital a after getting this center here at a just do the axis line okay so axis line means two big lines with a dot so from a i am taking the axis line do up to some length like this okay on the axis line take this length how much it is 30 mm okay 30 mm means we are taking 2.4 cm reduced length so from a take 2.4 cm okay mark b dash okay it is a center of this top circle of the frustum of a cone mark the center b dash at this height okay 30 means 2.4 cm on the axis line so here we will get okay so this point is capital b point this is the center of this top circular one okay just now i told for fresh term if you are removing this here also we are getting the circle okay that center of the circle is b point okay so here for getting the circular one here also it is getting ellipse for it just do the axis line at b dash at center how to get axis line so one axis line is parallel to this line the another axis line is parallel to this line okay take this is the reference line at b move the scale do the axis line two big lines with a dot like this okay one axis line and one more axis line parallel to this move the scale up to b do the axis line like this okay after getting the axis lines here as i told this is a circular one okay just similar to like this we have to take how much diameter 40 but 40 we are taking 3.3 cm okay roughly do one circle okay it is 3.3 cm 3.3 cm this diameter is 3.3 and at center this vertical diameter also 3.3 at center for getting one more ellipse this part okay in asymmetric we will do the follow the same procedure we will just do one box which is passing through all these four points okay roughly do the box here like this okay how much this length it is nothing but diameter so this diameter is calculated 3.3 okay this side 3.3 cm this point this side 3.3 this side 3.3 this side so 1.65 so this side from axis 1.65 this side 1.65 this side here also 1.65 1.65 so take here 1.65 so from b it is 1.65 total is 3.3 okay so here mark this end point also 3.3 now these two points on this axis now here also mark so 1.65 this side so here 3.3 1.65 now at these points do the line parallel to this okay, at these two points do the line parallel to this take this is the reference line move the scale here do the line here also at this point do the line after getting these lines at these two points also do the lines parallel to this take this is the reference line move the scale do the line between these two lines okay for getting the rhombus after getting this move it here like this okay so this is the rhombus for this circular part here also we got the rhombus this circular part is coming like ellipse okay similar to the bigger one so for getting this 
here also we need to mark the points okay so opposite diagonal two points here also two points okay so whatever points i am marking for the bigger one i am taking the same points i will keep s1 here and then q1 here and then p1 here okay and then here r1 let us take s1 and then here q1 and then here p1 and then here r1 okay after getting this points okay here also mark the middle points already we have marked the middle points give the names for it here i am giving t here i am giving t1 already on axis line we took these points okay now here x are given here x1 are given okay now this point is y here i am giving y1 and here it is z here i am giving z1 after getting this here also we have to follow the four center method for doing the ellipse okay already we took for the bigger circle same uh, four centers for the smaller one take p1 r1 m1 n1 okay here also take p1 y1 r1 x1 m1 t1 n1 x1 okay same procedure only thing is uh, smaller radius will come here so p1 center okay this is p1 p1 center P y P one y one radius P one y one radius we have to join these two by using the compass. Okay, let us do here initially by using compass. P one center P one y one radius join the middle points. Okay, similarly here also for the bigger one we did like this. So here also similar thing I did. So after getting this, take the next center R one center R one x one radius R one x one radius. Join these two. Okay, we got two arcs. Creating these two arcs, we have to take M one center. Okay, here we took M center. We have to mark initially M and N. Okay, M one N N one. How we will get M and N by joining opposite ends to the this end. Here we need to join these two points to P one by using scale. now here also join now after joining this so r we have joined to the opposite middle points similarly here also r1 we have to join opposite middle points okay take this intersection point here we have given m here give the name m1 okay here we have given n here we have given n1 why i am comparing means we are following the same process whatever in this rhombus we are doing in this rhombus also we are doing the same now take next center is m1 take the radius is m1 t1 okay m1 center m1 t1 radius by using compass join these two points like this take m1 center m1 t1 okay radius join opposite ends like this okay now after getting this take next center is n1 center n1 x1 radius n1 center n1 x1 radius join these two points so here we got one ellipse in this rhombus okay this is the top surface of this fresh term now after that we need to mark on the axis line this center distance how much it is 20 mm so for 20 mm we had to take approximately 1.6 cm so from this center center is b already we have marked from center take 1.6 cm so this is the center 1.6 now take this point so this point is this center capital o i will mark here so this side i will mark capital o now this is the center of this sphere as i told previously in isometric view this sphere radius will not as it is it will not change how much it is 30 mm or 3 cm take 3 cm radius by using compass o as center do the circle o as center do the circle like this so this circle is coinciding here okay is coming on the same line now here after getting this okay we did this part 
we did this part this part here we have to join this one these two lines inclined lines here how to do this lines wherever we did the horizontal line take these points i will do a little thick this line and here also i will join these two rhombus ends now take these points okay here also take these two points wherever this line and uh, this ellipse is coinciding okay we need to join this point to this point okay now keep the scale which is joining this point to this point this point to this point okay now here this sphere is coming okay so up to sphere do the line in this direction okay here i will take the line okay i will take the scale in this direction after that i will the surface of the bottom is this one okay the surface of this top surface is this one so in this direction i will move the scale like this okay like this wherever it is coming line i will do the line okay like this like this now i will not take inside because sphere is coming okay now i am taking the line this line parallel to the line joining these two okay so because it is a visible surface now here also take this horizontal line and then this curved intersection point here also horizontal line and curved intersection point okay join this point to this point like this now move the scale up to the surface do the line up to this sphere okay now here here we got the line up to this sphere okay now here whatever visible parts should be there those should be in dark color and what are the invisible parts so this is a solid okay we can't see this surface and whatever this side surface of the ellipse it is coinciding with the sphere and uh, this part also we can't see whatever uh, not visible part is here we have to do with dotted lines so make this uh, arc should be in light color by using the eraser now this part we can't see up to this make it dotted like this okay and here also this part is not visible because these lines are covering it and uh, this this part also not visible because this sphere is covering this entire area do carefully so from here take the dotted like this so this surface and this surface is dotted one the remaining surface sphere and this part and this part is visible and this part okay because it is coinciding with the sphere we need to check whether we are marking centers or not so this is capital a here we have marked this is capital b here we have marked this is o center here at all centers do the axis line already we did here axis lines at this sphere also do the axis lines okay so as i told axis line should parallel to these lines so at o do the axis line axis line means two big lines with a dot like this and this side also do the line parallel to this after that mark the given dimension so the base diameter is 80 mm no need to take the new values here marking during marking take as it is given value ct diameter and here this diameter is 40 and this height is 30 this is x and this height is 30 this is x keep as it is and then this sphere radius is 30 mm okay here i have marked it. so whatever given values will be there mark those values instead of the new values this is the method of doing the isometric view for the given diagram so this entire part and this diagram should be do in the rough paper no need to do here in the exam sheet or as well as in drawing sheet do this diagram and this diagram okay If you like this lecture hit the like button subscribe my channel for more updates thank you for watching